So anyways, apparently we're supposed to be in Glens. And now my hit counter has gone up to maybe 7, 8, or 6, I can't remember exactly. But apparently, you can click on the sofa down here. Yeah, who can resist trying to be eaten alive? What? Ah, so very relaxing. My back is rapidly dying. Oh, there are some coins here between the cushions. I don't want to cut in line, that hard rock would probably be furious. Well then how about we just give the coins to the rocker because he wants to switch the music because he's upset. Hey, take this coin. He immediately scrap snatches the coin like an addict grabbing his stick. Wow. As the music starts, the reading guest storms out of the pub, his concentration ruined. Ah yeah. Last word was Vicklin. Done and done. Okay, so it's completely solved. Whoops. It's completely solved. I'm out of here. Thank you, Raka. Now we just gotta go to the convenience store clerk, and we're all set to go. Then we'll finally get to see the boat. Boat hype! Give me it. Here you go, all solved. Let's hope you win that outboard motor now. Fantastic, great job! Hello there. Oh, hello! Can we go see Bergwall's boat now? Sure, let's go! Yay! I'll sort some papers in the office while I'm here. Uh, give me a shout if you need anything. Jonathan's boat is the wooden one closest to the entrance. Just take your time. Thanks. By the way, I also arrange fishing trips if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. Touch Jonathan's boat. Let's say the police have missed something. Considering this is a suicide case, they probably haven't been too meticulous in their examination. Hmm, what might this be? There's some scratches. That won't help me to interpret the scratches better. <gasps> Aww. Aww. Guess I can use this piece of wood. I don't need to pay anything, it's not my pay for the more. There's a note here. Okay. There's a burner. Um. Let's get this charred. Ow! We'll turn it off. That's not the boat I need to investigate. Okay. Wait, I forgot to read this. It's the note from the boathouse. Well, apparently I can't use the note on the note. Okay. Okay, well then why did I just char a stick and, uh... Is that, is that all? Probably don't want me to, he probably don't want me to mess. He probably doesn't want me to mess around with his gear. Yeah. A little, 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 little salty about that one. I don't want that burned. What do you want burned? Do you want the coins burned? Can we, can we, can we, can we burn the coins? No.
While the idea of restoring everything to its original location is nice, I risk ruining the paint with the charcoal. There are scratches making near the warlock. They appear to be random by first glance, but the cryptologist in me senses a pattern. The engravings are very subtle, though. Oh, 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 son of a biscuit. By rubbing the charcoal against the paper, the engraving appeared on it. Sorry, the engravings appeared on it. Let's turn off the burner then. So that's why, why the note wasn't really necessary to read in the first place. I've created a carbon copy of the scratches found on Jonathan's boat. Max Saw Exus. Okay. Okay. Hey, I'm ready to leave. Alright, I'm done too. Let's go. If you're looking for a newer boat, I can give you a special price. Thank you. I'll consider it. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so there's a the boathouse. Wow, you have to travel a long way. I'm sorry, I can't travel to, uh... Travel to, uh, Wyvern, so... Or the bunker near Wyvern. Maybe Sir knows anything about the, uh, Maxis. Hi. Okay, let's do it this way. Nope. Hi. Nope, there's nothing there. I try. Well, that's an interesting sequence of things. I'll, I'll admit. So I'm supposed to do that in that order? I saw I did it, but... At least I've done it, like, long ago, too. Alright, so I'm supposed to talk to the shop owner. Hello? <laughs> talk about Jonathan's boat. Yes, he bought a boat from me years back. A very good decision, I must say. Okay. My... And then I talk with the waitress about it. Hi there. Hello. I heard he was out rowing when he took his life, yes. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the Bergwall estate and then I'm going to supposedly examine So I had to click on it further. Okay. I I feel a little dumb. Feel a little dumb. Hello. <laughs> Do you know anyone called Max? I think a Anita has a neighbor called Maximilian. You should ask her. Anita, uh, that's the lady serving coffee in the church hall. Oh, okay. Thank you. Awesome. My Thank you so much for the info. Yeah, let's just... Ah. Uh. Well, hey, Anita. Hi there. Hello. 
Do you know someone called Max? Well, there's a certain Maximilian renting the house next to mine. Why? Huh. Uh, what can you tell me about him? He's a retired photographer. He comes here once in a while and takes pictures of the archipelago. I think he's left the island for the season, though. Any idea where I can find him? I happen to know that he's showing some of his pictures at a posh restaurant down by the Red Rock. It's impressive that someone so old, hardly any eyesight left, can still take such good photographs. He basically knows where to aim the camera without even seeing what's there, and the photos turn out wonderful. That's impressive. You might be able to catch him there, or at least admire his works. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, darling. You're welcome, honey. Weird for you to say that twice, but thank you so much. Let's get out of here. Skip town in the ferry. Now Red Rock is open. Wonderful. Let's see, there's a sea cat. I shouldn't meddle with the traffic at the. How are you gonna meddle with it? Anyways, let's head to the sea cat. That's an oddly uh, colored potted plant. The Major D is watching my every step. Creepy. Hello there. Hello. Thank you. Do you know the photographer? I believe they're rented from a local picture agency. I heard the photographer is nearly blind. He just points his camera and shoots. Fascinating. Are you a wedding guest? Uh, no, I'm not. Then we can't offer you a table tonight. The restaurant is fully booked. Uh, table for one, please. Are you a wedding guest? Uh, no. Then we can't. Thank you. Do you? I believe I heard the photo- Fasten. Goodbye. Goodbye. They're signed by Sir Maximilian Hujutland. Can't say anything special with this one, though. Wait. There's a boat in the distance here, but I can't make out the faces. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. No. Maybe I can make him operate a little bit. HD wouldn't throw me out. I certainly would throw me out if I started messing with the lamp. Or I could get my hands on one of those prisms without messing with the lamp itself. Hello there. Hello. Do you have a magnifying glass I could borrow? No, I certainly don't. And if you don't belong to the wedding company, I suggest you come back another night. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. I shouldn't touch the stuff to make you my object. I think I would appreciate the touch of stuff. Maybe I could make him operate the lever for me. That was made by hundreds of hundreds of lens-like prisms. So how would I make him operate it? I'll touch him with a burn stick. Yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. Oh, the radiator. No, HD can't see me here. Let's crank up the heat. Hello there. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't need to throw it anymore. Hello there. Isn't it Hello. isn't it getting a little hot in here for you? 
do no uh, and if you don't all right goodbye goodbye okay open the door create a draft oh hey Apparently the main G thought it's sufficiently aired now. Of course the temperature will climb back up soon enough. But I got a prism. Okay, let's see. Lens works as a magnifying glass, and that's Jonathan sitting in the boat. And with him is... That must be Veronica, the private nurse. She was in the boat with Jonathan the day he died.